Live from Melbourne, 7 News with Peter Mitchell starts now. Good evening. Australian athletes have led the way in a spectacular opening ceremony at the Commonwealth Games. Competition is already underway with our swimmers about to hit the pool in Birmingham, going for gold in just hours. In the industrial city they call Brum, 72 British built cars representing 72 countries and territory creating the Union flag to open the friendly games. Land Rovers and one final Aston Martin, not carrying British spy Bond, but the future King and Queen. Please welcome to the Alexander Stadium, their Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall officially attending on behalf of the 96-year-old Queen. Clouds were dark, but it was a daytime start to the 22nd Commonwealth Games. The sky filled not just with light, but royal red and blue. As a flyover started the story of a once dusty working class city turned UK multicultural heartland. A full house at Alexander Stadium, 30,000 here, up to a billion watching at home. Every creed, colour and tribe we come from Brum. The original home of British manufacturing. Perhaps a surprise symbol of Brum, a bull took over the bull pit. This six and a half ton beast representing 900 years of history. Named after the city's bull markets that opened illegally to trade fabric in the Middle Ages. Laying the foundations for a modern industrial capital. A star of the ceremony created by a Super Bowl halftime show director and the brains behind TV show Peaky Blinders. Steel for nail and for change. Australia, the first country on parade. Our famous wide grins beaming from flag bearers Kookaburra Eddie Ockenden and squash star Rachel Grinham. So exciting to see our flag bearers. 429 athletes will wear the green and gold at the games where able-bodied and para-athletes compete together. They look spectacular. A chance to be able to, to walk the entire team out is, is just something I, I would never have dreamt of being able to do. You could almost hear the cheers from the Aussies not marching back in the athletes' village. The Indian team was welcomed loudly by the city's large number of South Asian immigrants. Our biggest opponent, England, walking in to Queen. Home soil the first time since Manchester 2002. Hidden in a baton that's travelled 269 days, 140,000 kilometres, through seven and a half thousand pairs of hands, was a message from Her Majesty, read by a prince taking centre stage. My warmest thanks go to all those who have worked so hard to ensure the success of this particularly special sporting event. And I wish each athlete and team every success. It now gives me the greatest pleasure to declare the 22nd Commonwealth Games open. More than 1,500 cast members, 30,000 LED wristbands, lighting the night for hometown boys Duran Duran. the entertainment, a message for the athletes from Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai, treated in Birmingham after being shot by the Taliban. Over the next few weeks, as we watch the incredible athletes of the Commonwealth Games, remember that every child deserves the chance to reach her full potential and pursue her wildest dreams. Birmingham was never meant to host these games, but when Durban pulled out, the scramble was on. The city had four years to prepare, down from the usual seven. That was just the first hurdle to get here tonight. One year ago, our athletes were at empty stadiums in Tokyo, 
What a difference 12 months make. It's just amazing. I love Birmingham. It's big up Ashanti. My sister was actually dancing in it, so supporting her was amazing. Go Australia! 11 days of competition now begins. The hunt for the first gold within hours. Oh.